are about to witness a new dimension in entertainment. Gentlemen, uh, this young man I had the pleasure of working with at the Copacabana in New York City. Of course, this is his first appearance on national television. I ask you, the studio one, to please make him feel welcome. He's a wonderful young singer, and he has a fluky name, but the name is not the whole story. Welcome, if you will, Mr. Peter Lemangelo. I had this crazy idea to become a star on my own terms, and I did. Music meant everything to me. I had a voice, a look the ladies liked, but I couldn't get arrested if I tried. And God knows I tried. I met some notorious made men who wanted to help with my career. I even had Joe Colombo's influence behind me. I figured I was set. It was a done deal for me to play Johnny Fontaine in The Godfather. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. <laughs> you can act like a man! What's the matter with you? Till Colombo got shot 25 feet from me. So I figured out how to finance and shoot my own TV commercial and buy airtime. It was unheard of, but I had nothing to lose. You are about to witness a new dimension in entertainment. Peter Lemangelo, a mood rock experience called Love 76. Do I love you? Don't you know by now? It worked. It made me look like an absolute star, and everyone kept asking, who the hell is this guy? With that commercial, I sold over a million and a half albums, with no manager, no agent, no record label, no nothing. And there wasn't any of this streaming or download nonsense. It was all records and tapes and checks. Lots of checks. What a difference it makes. Overnight, I was the talk of New York, and it just spread from there. And that's how this crazy life started. Oh, I also survived the Tet Offensive in Vietnam, bankruptcy, an overdose, arson charges, divorce, and prison, which is where I heard the truth about JFK's assassination. And if that isn't enough, I survived a kidnapping at the hands of my cousin, a pitcher for the Houston Astros. I was featured in every major newspaper and magazine and appeared on The Tonight Show 25 times. Chevy Chase even spoofed me on Saturday Night Live and in a hit film. Bobby Rouse, Peter Lemongello, your house is on fire. Suddenly friends like Don Rickles considered me an equal. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Lemongello. I sold out Madison Square Garden, Lincoln Center, and Carnegie Hall in a matter of hours. It's been a lot of twists, turns, ups, downs, and downers. You couldn't make it up if you tried. And I have the scars to prove it. So here I am. Have I got a story to tell? I got the music in me. 